We're now going to look at the second video in this memory topic, and that is on forgetting. So our learning objectives are to be able to identify and describe the three types of forgetting and to use your knowledge to apply these types of forgetting to different contexts. Key terms are decay, displacement, cue, retrieval failure, context cue, and state cue. So starting off with the three types then, we have decay, displacement, and retrieval failure. Let's look at some definitions. The decay. This is when we do not pay attention to the information that's entered the sensory store. So last lesson, we, uh, in the last video, we talked about how you can um, process information visually, um, auditorily, uh, for your taste, smell, um, or through touch. So if you do not pay attention to that information, then it will break down and the memory is no longer available. Additionally, decay may happen if you do not rehearse information. So you might have paid attention to it initially, um, but you've not rehearsed it and the memory decays. The um, capacity of short-term memory is only about 20 seconds. So decay occurs really quickly unless you rehearse that information. Decay can also happen in long-term memory. Uh, this is particularly if there's a long gap between creating the memory and trying to recall and retrieve that memory. So the second type was displacement. Your short-term memory has a limited capacity. It can hold approximately seven plus or minus two items. So if your short-term memory is at capacity, it's holding that seven plus or two minus items, new information that enters your sensory store might kick out old information in the short-term memory. Again, if that information has not been rehearsed, it will be forgotten. So rehearsals are really key to maintaining information or maintaining memories. Displacement is own, can only occur in short-term memory. It does not occur in long-term memory. This is because the capacity of long-term memory is thought to be infinite or un unlimited. Finally then, retrieval failure. This can also be called lack of cues. So this theory suggests that all memories are accessible, but we might lack the necessary cues for the memory. So it's like having something on the tip of your tongue. You can't quite get it out. You need a cue to help you get there. So a cue is anything at all that can trigger your memory. For example, a smell, a particular word, a picture, anything that might cause you to remember something. And there are two different types of cues that are related to retrieval failure. Firstly, context dependent cues. So have you ever gone up um, some stairs to complete a task? You go up there and think, oh, why have I got here? You go back downstairs, you remember, so you go back up and complete the task. That's an example of a context cue. So context cues are external cues. They refer to being back in the same place that you were when the memory was encoded to allow that memory to be triggered. The second type are state cues. So um, a study that um, provides evidence for state cues was conducted by Miles and Hardman in 2010. They found that when participants who learn a list of words when riding an exercise bike record more words when on the bike than at rest. And that's because they were in the same physiological state. So state cues are internal cues, such as your emotional or your physiological state when the memory was encoded. If you then induce that same state again when you're trying to retrieve the information, you're much more likely to do so. We also have an exam style question then on these three types of forgetting. It says, our fan forgets when he came downstairs, uh, what he came downstairs for until he goes back upstairs again. Carmen forgets some of the names of the people she has just been introduced to because there were too many of them. Darcy forgets the poem she is trying to learn because she has not practiced it enough times. So can you name the person who's experienced decay and name the person who's experienced displacement? Pause the video and have a go. So hopefully you would have seen that Darcy was the person who experienced decay. She's not practiced it enough times. That memory trace has just gone. The person who experienced displacement was Carmen. So she was trying to learn uh, people's names perhaps as a teacher might try to learn all of their students' names. Um, and there were so many of them that the new ones she learned displaced, they took the place of her existing memories in her memory. So that's it for the types of forgetting.